Hey, TikTok, it's Blackbird again. I've been quiet for a little while because I have a lot, a lot to process. And, uh, you know, lately what I've been dealing with, you know, I had mentioned in previous videos about my jaw and having understood something new. I don't know how far back it goes. I know it goes back to at least 19, early 1990s, 91, 92, maybe 93, that when I got angry and I got so infuriated by injustice and unfairness that I would, mm, I get so mad. And I didn't realize at the time that that went back to an injury that started when I was like five years old. So, you know, I've had some things that have happened over my life that, you know, odd things. Being threatened by a colostomy bag at six or seven years old, I couldn't, I, I wasn't making bowel movements. So I was told that, you know, oh, you remember what grandpa had? My grandfather on my dad's side had had his coloss had had some type of a problem with his col uh, colon that he had to have a colostomy bag temporarily in place to process everything that goes through our body. Instead of having bowel movements, he would have to empty this bag. That's what a colostomy bag is. I learned that at six or seven years old. Sorry, the blackbirds are a little noisy today, but I've been away for a while because I was up vis visiting friend, uh, friends closer to Colorado and uh, the boys haven't seen me for a while, so. These symptoms that I had over the years, I didn't know that they were connected to the same thing. The nervous system shutting down. And when your ventral vagus nerve cannot communicate with your dorsal vagal nerve. And this is what polyvagal syndrome uh, theory tries to explain. And it doesn't do it properly, but... I lost the feeling of the front and the back of my body. So I couldn't articulate myself in ways that when different things happened, um, I could fix them like most people can. And this started when I was five. So now at 54 years old, almost 55 years old, I'm figuring this out and I'm able to start to unlock all of the knots that I have locked into my body. And it was all me that did this. So uh, a gentleman commented on my uh, previous post that, you know, if you know pain, you know, he had had so many back surgeries and different things that he had had done that, uh, you know, I, I feel for you, sir. I really do. Uh, when you have had so many issues and I don't know what the cause of your back surgery was and whatnot, but what I deal with is not pain necessarily. It has been pain for so long because I didn't know what I was doing and I was causing myself more pain. And so now with understanding the jaw and how I have been so twisted and unwinding all of that, it has come to my attention that in the back of my inside of my jaw, there is a bone little shard of bone or tooth or something from that oral surgery 21 years ago that has been digging in the back of my tongue and because of that I have twisted myself into so many different ways 
to try to avoid that pain. That now that I know what it is, I can tolerate that pain to the point where I can start to straighten all of this out. And so this is where I'm at. Um, You know, I mentioned about being real. And being honest. And uh, part of that's holding your ground, too. Because in our modern medical institution here in the United States, at least, I've had so many doctors tell me that they can't see what's going on, so there's nothing wrong. I knew there was something wrong, and I, I fought for a long time to find those answers. And I've finally found those answers, and I'm working and fixing all of this. But in the process of that, I was disabled for a long time and I wasn't able to function. And unfortunately, I had to rely on people to be able to get by. And uh, the only way that that was possible was because of being genuine and when you have those conversations with people that really matter, don't hide your feelings. Don't hide what you're going through, what your fight is. I had so many people tell me, oh, we all get older, we all have aches and pains, but nobody was inside my body and knew what I was going through. But a few people that I was honest with, understood and they helped me through a period where I really did not want to go on living. So keep buggering on and be as true to everyone that you love as you can. Because it makes a difference.